Memorial Day weekend, I've decided to post a video each day talking about someone who gave their life for their country. Then on Memorial Day, we will talk about the history of the holiday. Nathan Hale. Nathan Hale was born in Coventry, Connecticut in 1775. In 1769, when Nathan Hale was 14 years old, he and his brother, who was 16, were sent to Yale College. Nathan graduated with his first class honors in 1773 at the age of 18 and became a teacher. When the Revolutionary War broke out in 1775, Nathan Hale joined a Connecticut militia and was elected first lieutenant within five months. General George Washington needed to determine the location of an upcoming British invasion of Manhattan, so Washington called for a spy to go behind enemy lines, and Hale was the only volunteer. Hale volunteered to go behind enemy lines on September 8, 1776. He knew if he was caught in the act of spying, he would certainly be punished by death. He was ferried to Huntington, New York on British-controlled Long Island. Hale planned to disguise himself as a Dutch school teacher looking for a job. Though he didn't use his real name, he always carried his diploma from Yale, which should have his real name written on it. While Hale was undercover, New York City was taken by British forces on September 15th. Washington was forced to retreat north to Harlem Heights shortly after on September 21st. A quarter of the lower area of Manhattan burned in what's now known as the Great New York Fire of 1776. In the fire's aftermath, more than 200 American patriots were captured by British for questioning. An account of Hale's capture was obtained by the Library of Congress. It was written by a Connecticut shopkeeper and loyalist. The account said Hale was captured when Major Robert Rogers of the Queen's Rangers saw Hale in a tavern and recognized him. Rogers pretended to be a patriot himself in order to get Hale to show his true identity. Another account says that Nathan Hale's cousin, a loyalist, Samuel Hale, was the one who revealed Nathan's true identity. On the morning of September 22nd, 1776, Hale, at 21 years old, was marched to the gallows to be hanged. His final words were, I only regret that I have but one life to lose for my country.